I've been involved in the uh, basically marketing, sales, advertising agency, a little over 30 years now. Prior to that, I was big into racing. I'm a huge auto racing fan. And I actually raced for a while. So back in the late 70s, early 80s, when I was uh, driving, I started out driving go-karts, but then I worked my way up into open wheel and so forth. But they didn't have too much for uh, hearing protection back in the day. I think over the years, you know, I had a little bit of a hearing loss based on that kind of experience. I got accustomed to having to have people speak louder, turn the volume up on, on uh, my cell phone to, to full blast so that I could hear it. Same thing with the TV. I mean, I'm normally, I think uh, my family, they keep it around the 20 to 25 number on the volume. I was at 35, 45, and to me that was normal. But once, you know, I had the Paradise hearing aids on, I actually went in and turned the TV on and uh, I'd had it set at the higher volume. And I was like, oh my gosh, I turned these up too loud. In fact, that wasn't the case. What it was doing was actually picking up the actual sound at the higher volume that everybody else was experiencing and complaining about. So what I ended up doing is I'm back down to like in the 15 to, to 20 range in our volume adjustment, which is exactly what everybody else in the family is accustomed to. So there's a little bit more harmony in the family when we watch shows now. <laughs> I would say the Paradise Hearing Aids, if I uh, had to describe them in one or two words, I would say they're eye-opening. They're just fantastic. You realize what you've been missing and why it's kind of a silly situation to not want to go ahead and get Paradise Hearing Aids to uh, address an issue that I've had for probably realistically the last 20, 25 years. Letting vanity take over is not a good solution. Speaking firsthand, I'm very thankful that uh, Paradise Hearing Aids uh, have uh, allowed me to experience that.